los desaparecidos, the missing ones. In Mexico, fires are burning. I mean this metaphorically and literally. For thousands of youth feel the heated indignation against their corrupt government, as shown by their October 13th protests and the firing of government buildings in Chilpancingo, Guerrera State, Mexico. Why did they set the buildings ablaze? They were marking the deadline when government officials were told to return some 43 students who were arrested and taken away by corrupt cops. In September the 26th and 27th, local police in Iguala, Guerrero, opened fire on three busloads of students from a rural teacher training school and Ayats Zinapa. Six people, three students and three passersby, were killed and 25 people were wounded. The 43 students were hustled into police vehicles and haven't been seen since. Every day since then, protests, marches, and highway blockades have rocked the city, demanding the safe return of the 43 students. The protests against brutal terrorist police and government corruption has only gotten hotter as events of October 13th have shown us. On October 22nd, hundreds of thousands of people have demonstrated for the students' return all over Mexico and around the world. These students came from rural districts across Mexico where the children of poor campesinos could get good educations and become teachers. But Mexico, as in the U.S., is under the spell of neoliberalism, which seeks to abolish the schools which date from the 1930s. Why? Because these schools challenge the hegemony of neoliberalism by teaching kids to think critically and question the ways of the world. The neoliberal government responded to protests with police massacres and now the disappearance of dozens of students. But protests continue more militant than ever. It is interesting and telling that when Islamists snatched and kidnapped hundreds of girls in Nigeria, the world went wild. When corrupt, brutal cops massacred students and then kidnapped 43 students and refused to tell their whereabouts, the neoliberal corporate press goes dark. In Mexico, the struggle and the demand for the students' safe return continues. La lucha sigue from Imprisoned Nation. This is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Oh, for shizzle, dizzle. We got an excellent show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of the arena does not reflect that of Comcast, its staff, or affiliates, and the views of Black Sun does not reflect that of the arena. Why do I say that? Because the arena is a council. Are you getting that? I'm getting it. All right, so with that being said, I want to introduce the lovely first lady of the arena. Miss Sharon. Miss Miriam, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. It's always good. good to have you. Me too. I'm so happy to be here. Excellent, excellent. To his right, we got King. Uh oh. -uh. Of the Hebrew is light. Servant, and uh, by the way, Miriam, you are lovely today as Thank well you. as every day. Thank you. Your I servant, get on on deck. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me, bro. For show, for show, and you know, you know, God, Vince, Vince, introduce yourself. I'm Vince Cheeks, actor, activist, music, TV show host. You know me. You know what I do. Good to see y'all. Good to be here. I'm ready to get into this discussion. But first, let me say today is November 2nd, which means in two days, it is uh -oh. time to vote. So please, please, please get out and let your voice be heard. One, because it's important. That's right. And two, because there are people that died for people, for us to have the right to vote. And if for no other reason, that's why I do it. You know, right. I know people lost their lives for me to have this privilege. And so what? you... Oh, okay. I think we disagree on that. Who died in order for you to vote? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the 60s. Uh, to the 60s, okay. Right. The, All right, The okay. civil rights movement. Let's get into but it. But do you think voting makes a difference? See, now you, that's a whole other topic <laughs> yeah, we can get I mean, into. I just, 
I say it's important to become a part of because we as black people always complain that nothing gets done or nothing gets done for us, but we're not, we don't make ourselves a part of the process to even attempt to try to include ourselves. Like we exclude ourselves before they exclude us. You know, yeah. we, we know they've always wanted us excluded. Well, okay, in my opinion, I believe they're excluding black people and all minorities when they give us the choice of oppressor A or oppressor B. Well, yeah, that's a different Yeah, I mean, of course, in a real paradox. democracy, it's right. essential to vote. But I believe in the United States as it is now. I mean, I yeah, I've it. made it clear on here on this show before, yeah. I believe that the voting system here is a farce. Of course, corrupt, yeah. It, yeah, it's a farce, it's corrupt. And we're going to talk about corruption when we talk oh, about this the is Guerrero. Oh, When we talk about the Guerrero <laughs> murders, <laughs> right. <laughs> we're going to link and tie all of this in, but please, again, uh, if you want to be heard, instead of just sitting at home complaining, go out and make sure that you're, you cast your vote. Okay, now, today we have a show about the Guerrero murders, uh, which took place in Mexico. Yes. Uh, end of September, early part of October. And it's basically where 43 students went missing. Um, 43, that's a lot of students. 43 man. students disappeared. Um, and they were hauled off into official vehicles by local police, never to be seen again. Wow. Basically, until, and that happened, like I said, around September 26, 27. Uh, nine days later, this the Guerrero State Attorney General, Inaki Blanco, said they found several mass graves with 28 skulls. charred yeah. bodies and skulls in it. And now they're in the process of trying to identify these bodies to see if they are the missing students, which they say could take over a month, the process could take over a month. Right. Well, regardless, they're still bodies. Right. So even if they're not the students, you still have a mass grave that's been found. Right. So, yeah. you and know, that's... Uh, and that's the thing also with this outrage, Mexican authorities have been having to go out and investigate what has happened to these students because of the outrage in Mexico and because of the protests. And now they're protest in Mexico, Mexico City again, I'll let you get to that. And while they're doing this, while they're investigating the student mass, the student massacre, mm -hmm. they're finding other mass graves, they're finding wow. other atrocities. Right. So yeah, I just wanted to So basically this has probably been going on for quite some time yeah. now. Uh, but as we know, as this has been stated for a long time that Mexico's entire political system is corrupt. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't say. And they need a good model like America. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm, that's a question. Allies, though. <laughs> right. They are right. allies. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah. right. Exactly. Along with Israel. Yeah, of course. Yes. Um, right. To the point where the Guerrero governor, Angel Agu Aguirre, he stated that the majority of police in his state have been infiltrated by organized crime. So my oh. question is, well, didn't they arrest some police? I don't. They didn't arrest them. They're questioning oh. uh, about twenty to twenty-five officers. Now I know they wanted to question to the mayor. See, right? They're questioning the officers to see if they were involved okay. in the, in the uh, killings, uh, because that's something that the governor's doing. He's having all of his officers go to retraining, which I don't know what retraining is supposed to do to a group of killers. Mm. But um, right. mm. he's having them retrained, and he's having all of their weapons checked to see if they had recently been fired Ballistics, right. in this uh, Guerrero massacre that occurred with these 43 students. Right. Uh, and so my thing is, if you're the governor, and you know that that type of corruption is running rampant in your police department, why aren't you doing something more than having them go through retraining? Yeah. Well, one might say he's part of it, too. That's why I said the entire, <laughs> yeah. the entire political structure and system of Mexico has, for years that I've known, been yeah. corrupt. And it's wow. from the president all the way down to the mayor's right. wife. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was going to get to the president uh, in a second. Uh, the president, <laughs> the president uh, Enrique Pina Nieto. Nieto, yeah. Uh, he called the death outrageous, painful and unaccepted, unacceptable. He brought the feds in to, I guess, do a thorough investigation. El Federale? Right, El mm. Federale. Okay. To find out what happened and apply the full extent of the law to those responsible. 
Well, to that, Mr. President, I would first say look in the mirror <laughs> first. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't be and, talking and, like that. You and, know, cartels got linked all the way up in the goddamn Atlanta, yeah, goddamn Texas. Now, Brown, that is true. Brown County, California, Califa West Side. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey. They go all the way up into New York and Chicago now. You better be careful. Man. Well, I mean. <laughs> Clearly, no one in Mexico is going to speak out against the Mexican cartel, so... I'm glad you said that, because our original guest, Lucino, who's originally being on the air, he wanted to do the show, and then all of a sudden, he said, oh, black son, I can't make it. I said, okay, uh, so yeah. I had another friend that I've known for 10 years, Christopher Gonzalez. I said, Chris, you want to come on the show? Yeah, I'd like to come on the show. What you going to talk about? We're going to talk about the Grill Massacre. Um, you know, I got a real <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to be real busy on Sunday. I said, well, God dang. Yeah. I mean, just like that, zero to 60, and they couldn't <laughs> So I'm just, you know. Well, this, uh, the town of Iguala, where this happened, uh, it's known for its violence, and it's known for its production of poppy and marijuana. And any, t any place you have heavy drug production, you're going to have heavy violence. Uh, there's been dissension between the cartels and the uh, indigenous people of the area because the people are tired of the the cartels right, the taking over everything the killings and they're trying to recruit the young, young men you know what i mean to become a part of the cartel mm -hmm. and so some of the people have started forming like uh, i guess vigilante uh oh wow vigilante type police groups of their own where mm -hmm. they can um Police to I police. I guess police, <laughs> right, police to police, police to uh, organized well, crime members yeah. because apparently uh, they're all in bed together because the, right. the, the, it's been reported that the police literally, once they snatched these students up, that they took them to the, the drug cartels and Worked said, together, right, get, together. right, let's uh, get rid of this problem. And for me, it wasn't even really... Well, my thing, I'm, I'm a little confused here. Okay. Why snatch up some college students? I mean, what what kind of leverage, political leverage, or e and what what type of, uh, I mean, what, what is the benefit of these? Even, like, let's just say even harassing them to begin with. Well, uh, let's just say they didn't kill them. Let's just say they pulled them over. What was the reason with the pullover, number one? And number two, what would be the whole motive behind that? That's a good question. The mayor... Jose Luis Abarca, mm -hmm. his wife, who has ties to the cartel, mm -hmm. the, uh, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What is the name of She has thing? ties to the cartel? Yeah, yeah, two of her brothers are in the Beltran Leva group, mm -hmm. which is one of the largest drug cartels hmm. in Mexico. Okay. So two of her brothers are in the cartel. She was apparently having this huge gala event where she was speaking about her services to the community, right, her yeah. philanthropy and her services to the community. Yeah. And okay. a few blocks away where she was having this presentation is where the students were uh, trying to solicit money to commem go to this commemoration of the 1968 uh, student murders. Mm. And so, okay. And so the mayor felt like what the students were doing were would interrupt and interfere with what his wife had going on. And so he sent wow. the police over there to quell and to squash their whatever they had going. And that's where. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently first to quote unquote shot. teach them a lesson. Right. Uh, yeah, to teach them right. a lesson so that nobody does this again. And apparently, I don't know if you saw this, that it happened the year before where they, no, dis where they yeah, disturbed another one of her events. So this time they're like, we're not going to stand for this anymore. Wow, so no, no freedom of speech? No freedom of speech. <laughs> and it's really ironic considering that it's an event where she's talking about her contributions to, right, the, community, to the community. And then and you're killing people, in the innocent community. people. Students. students. students as a matter of fact, you know what I mean? And, and they were students, I believe, um, uh, teaching students. They were going right. to become teachers, right. right? So, you know, it was people wanting to make a difference in the world, and they're leftists. They're on the right. left wing oh, on right. the political spectrum. And she's on the right. Now, yeah, definitely. Right. Now, one of the things they said the students were doing also was that they were stealing buses to take back to uh, their campus, which apparently this is something that had been done before and was, I guess, something they did pretty regularly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I don't know if the government is trying to use that as a justification mm -hmm. 
as to why. But initially, the government denied any involvement with it. It wasn't until they, they found these mass graves and the bodies where people was like, wait yeah. a minute now. <laughs> we know that your wife is connected to the cartel. Yeah. Right. And apparently, from what Miriam just said, that there's been a run-in before. Mm -hmm. And so now it's just coincidental that these students come up missing. So now I'm going to ask another question. And this is for you, Miriam. How are the cartels funded? Oh. Well, the cartels definitely are able to run because drugs are illegal, illegal in the United States. Mm -hmm. That's where they get their mm -hmm. true money from. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me that uh, this is tie-in with our government here? Most definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say I what? Mean, if, if, <laughs> drugs, if drugs in the United States were legalized and there was government regulation, mm -hmm. cartels would not have the power that they do. Right. 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 Yeah. And that's interesting that you say that because... Now, let me ask Gideon a question. Mm -hmm. Gideon, what, what, what neighborhood the drugs going to? Well, they're coming straight to the hood, my hood. And let me just say this, okay, and, right. and following Miriam, uh, her wise uh, point in reference to voting, I would never vote for white supremacy or white privilege. Gideon! Oh, that's okay. How you don't stop this, man. Right. Keep from voting. That's what we're trying to Are get Are you in. voting? I might. No. I may. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. I'm going to do it the right way. Meaning, I'm going to come together and we're going to make demands. Now, if our demands ain't met, we ain't going to vote. Okay. I mean, there's a, you know, like the homosexuals, they wanted the Equal Marriage Act and they got it. The Mexicans, they wanted the Dream Act and they got it. So we have to come together as a group. I don't think black people know how to vote. Guinea's generation, they don't know how to vote. They don't know how to come together and make a demand and okay. say, okay, and Republicans, lobby. right, Republicans, we want this. No, Democrats, we want this. No, they have one person go vote. And they candidate with it. Oh no, that don't work. No, no, it don't work. That's how. Well, they well are. my point is with voting. For example, I'm Palestinian. Yes. So what if there is, you know, there is a miracle in the world, okay. and there is a U.S. politician that stands with Palestine and is against Israel? Okay, this right. wouldn't happen in the modern. Right. 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 Okay. Right. Let's Good just point. say in our imaginary fantasy world. Okay, there is a U.S. politician <laughs> that stands with Palestine. Okay. okay. And I'm like, great. I'm gonna vote for him. For him. What are his other stances? Usually, even if you agree with a candidate on one thing in mm -hmm. U.S. politics, you disagree with them on other things. That's what the problem is. And a lot of times, you know, the Dream Act, oh, this candidate endorses the Dream Act. Right. Well, what is his stance on Palestine? What is his stance on IDOC? What is his stance on whatever? And that's a problem with U.S. politicians. They're still always corrupt and against mm -hmm. the things that you're all for. Well, Mary, let me say this. They feed off the selfishness of each group. See, definitely, each group, now, now, now yeah. does that fall on the politician or each group? Because each group is like, well, we, just as black this. people, we just want this for black people. Exactly. Now, black people are apathetic towards all other races of people. Let me just keep it straight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Except for the arena. Because the first thing that black people be like, well, what's that got to do with us? Yeah. So if we had a, let's well, just say reparations. Everything ties back in to everything. It yeah. does, and that's why we're here to show that. But yes. all minorities right. have this problem. I mean, right. Arabs right. will say right. the same thing. Right. Hispanics will say the that's same right. thing. That's yeah. right. All groups are right. And, and it, it just, I find it shameful for black people to do because we the first to say, oh, we the black kings and queens of society, and we the first. I'm like, okay, well, then prove it. Act well, it. Well, let me just say this, and, and moving on okay. from that point. <clears throat> See, it makes me think about, first of all, this massacre in Mexico, okay. the Moore's Ford Bridge lynching. Right. What you had was the police department okay. that went in with the local vigilante group, That's and right. they went and massacred this family and, and cut the baby out of the mother's womb and hung them. Of what course, was this? This was in Monroe, Georgia. No, oh, yeah, Monroe, Georgia. No, it's just Monroe, Georgia. Not like, good old GA, what? Bro, bro. <laughs> right, yeah. Then right. it makes me fast forward to the missing and murdered children. 26 missing and murdered children taken out of their home. Well, let's get in. You know we got to snatch up them organs, boy. That. Oregon, Oregon. Gotta and have interferon. Look, 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 look. Your, your driver's license said you were donoring your blood type O, so we got to come get them kidneys, you know what I mean? Yeah, so all of this plays, and then, of course, we move uh, fast forward to uh, Ferguson, Missouri. Right. Michael Brown. Then we go to Valdosta, and we see uh, the young man that was killed by the police, body thrown into a mat, film, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. doctored, I understand. Well, wait a minute. They Kendrick, said that Kendrick film was missing. Kendrick said, Johnson. But they said that film was missing, though. No, the film was found 
But after it was found, it left out crucial points as to who killed him, who dropped the body. All of this was missing. So when we talk about uh, Mexico, when we talk about America, when we talk about cartels, when we talk about the term syndicate, mm -hmm. see, radio, TV, they are individuals who are syndicated. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means that they're part of a network. Mm -hmm. That network promotes, produces their program. The syndicates that we're talking about in the Mexican cartels, mm -hmm. the American cartels, all of these syndicates are part of the political process what and control. And then also it makes me think about Iran-Contra. Mm -hmm. Ar mm -hmm. Arlie North. Jeremy Scale. That sounds and, familiar. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, then you go back to Richard Nixon, Haldeman, Ehrlichman, Mitchell, and Dean. The name represent oh, yeah. a whole nother thing. Well, you can't, <laughs> yeah. you can't bring all them up and not bring up J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah. Or, I mean, or yeah. House of Furious with Eric Holder. That's right. Where yes. they were arming the Mexican cartels Come on. in That's an right. effort to track them. See. So yeah. are we yeah. making a link to... American political corruption and Mexican political corruption. Absolutely. I just wanted to make sure I was on the same page. <laughs> and now, and, and, you know, I, I will say, que paso amigo, como esta bien bien y tu. But Valencia <laughs> Fox said mm -hmm. that we taking, we're coming to America because we're taking the job from all these lazy Negroes that y'all got. Spanish word now, Negro is a Spanish right. word right. that means black. Why is it that we supposedly who came from Africa, was given a Spanish term to identify the people, but yet we come from Africa because they were part of the slave trade. Spanish, oh, yeah. Portuguese, yeah. Dutch, mm -hmm. American, Inc. all of So you I have mean, a yeah, world everybody. conglomerate, right. part of syndicate. This syndicate, it has no compunction about morality. They're killing in America. They're killing in Mexico. They're killing because so get they in. can. Get in, get in, get in. So when the Hebrews come into power, what y'all going to do with the homosexuals? Uh, exile. And if they don't go into exile, what y'all do? They going to stop doing what they were doing. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Wait a minute, homie. I'm what just you saying. Have? I'm just saying. So we talk about all this murder. Yes. All this mayhem and bloodshed. Yes. Y'all yes. Hebrews want to do the same thing. Well, we have we a, we about have a right bloody history. We, we well, have sure as Hebrews. We, I mean, you I sure can't do. deny that. But right. understand this. That bloodshed, ultimately, for those who are walking the right path, will lead to peace and prosperity. I got to count you. What is the right path, Gideon? And that's an interesting point. For me, it has to do with Judaism and See, following the biblical codes. To, for you, to, however, it to, may to be to another my, program. Right. And to my atheist brothers out there, see, this is why we have the Endless War Act for people like Gideon. Yes. To avoid that type of terrorism. Okay? All right. So... Let's get back to. Oh, you look confused. At <laughs> he just said a righteous righteousness cannot be defined. See, according to ISIS, they have a concept of righteousness too. Right. And if you don't uh, adhere to that righteousness, you and, talk to the sword. Right. To the sword. <laughs> I'm just saying. I see why these theocracies are problematic. Right. Well, Not a true Islamic theology. Okay, let's go. Oh, why did you say that? Oh, my God. <laughs> she, she I gave you what you right. wanted. Right. Right. You, you know, right I got to gotta defend my religion, of yes, course. Yes. I have okay. to defend Islam. Now, Miriam, you know, I, I, I love when you be on the show. Now, is the religion of Islam the one you're talking about? Is it for the Palestinian people or is it for the world? It's for all people. Ooh. Islam has no culture. It has no race. It has no, I mean, you could say it has a language, the la Arabic language because of the Quran, okay. because our prophet, Prophet Muhammad والسلام, was an Arab, but it is for all people. Islam is for all people. So it should be, it should, should be for all government? Yes, I believe Islam should be in government, of oh course. Oh goodness. Most definitely, it would be, a perfect society under the ancient Islamic empires. There was no poverty. Right. There was no poverty in the entire empire. Miriam, was there slavery? Well, on some toes, but I'm no, just no, 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 no. Slavery? slavery was an Arab practice. Okay. That's what Arabs did, mm -hmm. not what true Muslims did. Okay. Actually, okay. one of the companions of the Prophet was a freed slave. His name is Bilal. He's a freed slave. Okay. Freed slave. Yes. Okay. So. An it's African priest. Now you're saying this for all people. Of course. Now, according to the Quran, yes. how do you deal with non-believers? Uh, there's no compulsion in religion. There's no compulsion? No, there's no compulsion in religion. In fact, 
people of different faiths who lived in Islamic empires, the most that they had to do was pay a tax for protection. See, they were not killed. They were not persecuted. They were treated equally. See, I'm trying to figure out how this works in, in today's society. Well, today's society, of course, is different. Today's society. So it wouldn't work. So what? It wouldn't work for all people. I believe it would. It depends. So it depends it's a belief system. Okay. Let me ask this question. If if there was Sharia law here, yeah. and do you think uh, there would be less political corruption? Most definitely, for sure. I think so. I I, definitely I agree with her on that. So. When you look at like Saudi Arabia, but my, I'm I'm just no, a little but Saudi Arabia and Iran and all of these mm -hmm. Islamic theocracies of today follow Islam wrong. That's not what Islam. So is. okay, okay. Now we're getting now we're getting to yeah. it. So yeah. Miriam, how do you? present a check and balance so that people can follow the right Islam. Follow the right Islam? Yeah, how do you impose that? You, know, you, you can't that? impose that. You, you can't, can't enforce so that. I mean, I mean, I, I'm definitely not a political scientist. I'm not an so expert on I Sharia law. I'm not an expert on Sharia law, but I can tell you every single thing that I've ever read as Sharia law as a Muslim is noble, 100%. Yeah. So why would it be in our government? Well, it wouldn't be unrealistic to have an American government with Sharia law, considering most Americans aren't Muslim. So it doesn't make sense. Right. So you said that Islam would be good for all people, right? Of I mean, to, of the world. Okay, so what I'm saying is that but I don't... But it doesn't make don't, sense for an Islamic government over a Christian majority or over an atheist majority, right. or et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't, it simply doesn't make sense. It would right. be just and it would be noble, but it doesn't make sense. Right, because it is a religion based on faith and belief, right? Of course. Okay, so now you got people like myself operating okay. on the left brain, meaning I got to see some proof and evidence. Oh, I no, Islam, check some definitely there is evidence. There's evidence? Most definitely there's evidence. There are things, there are, there are scientific miracles that the Quran predicted okay. that have only been predicted. revealed. Yes, okay. That have been revealed hundreds of years later by Western science. I'm asking you one This question. is a whole different right. topic. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> whole, I know. Let's get going. No, I mean, I, Islam is faith and it is reason. There is nothing in Islam that contradicts with evolution, with the Big Bang. Nothing. It's all predicted in the Quran. See, you know, as me an atheist, first thing I'm going to ask is where's uh, Muhammad's burial site? Um, Medina, I believe. Medina, you know for that for a fact? Medina? No, no, it is Medina. Okay, it is. I've been told it's Medina. Definitely Sayyidina Muhammad. Yes, it's in Medina. Medina? Yes. So I have Saudi Arabia. So, okay, so it's Saudi Arabia. So have they actually viewed the body of Muhammad? Because I know they, I, don't, they, I don't know about that. Okay. But uh, now it would be, uh, it wouldn't be a body. It's yeah, but they been can do, they centuries can, upon centuries. They can scratch and take DNA samples. I mean, that's uh -huh. what they do to our pharaohs. Yeah, I mean, they, they could have, oh, your pharaohs. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> our pharaohs. When I say our pharaohs, you know, to the melanated Kemites out there. Right, you know, right, like, right. I, I don't believe in that stuff. But right. What I'm saying is that you have people who have argued, like Shanka the Diop, that said that the Egyptians were African. Yeah, which that's I cool. disagree with. I believe that there are, there are black Egyptians, there are Nubians, and they're still in Egypt today. But there were also, like, for example, saying Cleopatra mm -hmm. was black. That doesn't even make, she wasn't even Egyptian. She came from Greece. Well, I think they were talking about, like, the pharaohs, like, Seti, um, Haru, you know, these, like, going back 4,500 years. And when they say they dug up, they noticed the curly hair and they did the DNA. Well, now, yeah. I know. mean, which Arabs have? Arabs have very, very curly hair, which okay. is, like, in the Bible, lamb's wool, which they say about right. Jesus' hair, correct? Right, Many right. Arabs have the same texture. And ma many Arabs are of black descent, are of African right. descent. And so that's why it, it, it creates a problem because, you know, you have the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, and every group, whether it be Arab or Hebrews or a actually Caucasians, it causes a division because everybody want to argue, well, Jesus was black, well, Jesus, and he want to say, well, he wasn't known Jesus, was Yahshua. So we have this argument yeah. and this division because, yeah. you know, there's many factions in Islam. Just no, like not many. Many? many? No, and nothing Sunni, compared to any. Okay, Shia, Sunni, Shia, right? and then there are few that splinter off of Shia. It okay. is nothing compared to Christianity. How many no, no, I agree. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not, I'm not a Christian, so don't ask me about no Christians. <laughs> well, he, he's like a he's like a uh, Hebrew, what they call yeah. a Hebrew. But what yeah. I'm saying, there's many factions of Hebrews. There's many yeah. factions of. Uh, but it is prohibited in Islam 
for there to be sex, for there to be factions. That is something that the people have done wrong. Right. Muslims are not perfect. Muslims but, make mistakes, but Islam in itself is perfection. Well, somebody can say that the Hebrew Israelites in theory is, is perfect in perfection. Or but, but, but Islam has been executed. We have had empires and we have had the world's biggest empires. Okay. Okay, but, <laughs> but if the Christians say we've had the world's biggest bombs <laughs> and nuclear okay. weapons. Yes. You but know, uh, under Islam, and advanced drones. They treated the people that they conquered with justice, and there was no compulsion in religion. They weren't forced to convert. Okay, we're going to have to do another show. <laughs> yeah. We had to get back, back to Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 This, is, no, this is very educational, you know. Absolutely. Uh, I very, mean, this is the arena. It's not one topic. It's how right. Right. everything right. It connects. always jumps. Yeah, yeah. It's right. It connects. Right. That's, you know, that's, that's true. That's how we do it, the that's arena. That's exactly yeah. how we do it. Look, I'm sitting here like, you know, <laughs> this exactly. is quite intriguing and interesting. But you were definitely right about how black and African history it isn't spoken about how great African civilizations they're completely neglected. Right. Completely well, not only that. neglected, but hidden. Hidden, right. exactly. Dude. Neglected makes it seem as if, oh, it well, there, there are on there are scholars out there, but they're, you know, I hate to say this, they're trying to turn it into a religion. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, uh, I'm glad to have uh, dialogue and discussion with the African tribes because I always say that we, we come from the Masi Empire. Mm -hmm. You know, when they, um, when Rome drove these slave ships, they were majority of the time on the west coast of Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those Africans, you know, people don't pay attention to, and th this is, I'm addressing black people. We don't understand structure, especially the old school people, like your last guest, Gideon, talk about, oh, nobody respects the civil rights. Well, see, when you talk to a people who are used to having a council, you can't come to them with a centralized leadership. You can't do it, you know what I'm saying? And that's why the, People of the civil rights won't get it. That's why people, me and me and Yang, and we can go in the hood and talk to the gangs, have them all come together, and speak their language because we're not trying to overtake them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're like, oh, we are elders. Yeah. Listen to yeah. us. And force, <laughs> force, right. uh, right. thoughts. You know, and, and the first thing we want to say, yeah. man, you got there and get a job. We trying to tell them to get a McDonald's job, and they making four thousand dollars a day. Right. I'm just saying, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is to the elders. <laughs> the civil rights people. Thrasher, I hope you watch it. Uh, yeah, he's he, he wants to come on and he's do gonna battle. He's going to get some of this. Yeah, but yeah. What I'm saying is that, yeah, there's a vast <laughs> history that we as black people can't agree on because Africans are not monolithic. You had some, you know, one thing that we always want to say is, oh, Africans are such a spiritual people. Yeah, you had people, Africans that were Islamists. You had some Christians. And you had some that were atheists. Yes. Let me say that again. You had some that were atheists, the Wagadungu, Mamprusi, the Yangatinga, the Ferdigoma, which a lot of African Americans are descended from. Mm -hmm. But we don't talk about that, do we? No, get it, we don't. <laughs> we cryptograph the white man's Bible and say this is our history okay. and our culture. Yes, sir. Right. In our political system. In our political system. Exactly. But we don't understand yes. that the Masi Empire went through those dictatorships and theocracies, mm -hmm. and they finally came up with a democratic structure. Oh, yes, democratic structure, Gideon, where a g group of people, where it was actually more transparent, where the groups gathered, and we had what they call, I call elections back then. That came from us. And so when we came across the Europeans, we taught the Europeans that structure. So that's even a more important reason why you should vote, because this is our system. Exactly that they're right. they're using, that they've taken and tried to exclude us from. But then now you're voting in their system. Right, but that's the only way we're going to have the inclusion that we're seeking. So and that, that well, a lot of people are seeking. I don't. Well, let me, let me say this. I, I, think, I think, you know, Frantz Fanon, you know, Yanga to always say that, and Yanga, you know, you need to be here. But anyway, he said, you don't never tell a man how to fight his battle. So what I'm saying is that you and Gideon, y'all don't believe in voting. Cool. I understand why. But I'm saying don't stop me in this. Right. We might have a plan. I'm not stopping y'all. Right. I'm just giving y'all right? the we, not perspective. Right. No. We, Which is the right perspective. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just really? saying, I'm just saying, you know, Malcolm X said to register and vote as an independent. Yeah, That's well, I mean, no human, said. no human being is perfect. I admire I'm Malcolm so X. Right. He's my role model, but. I don't don't know, I, right, right, and that's cool. Right. I mean, if you even look at it, just the amount of people who vote white, black, whatever they are, in America, it falls under 50%. 
Why is that? Because there's nobody representing the people. There's nobody that gives them a push to say, I want to go out and vote. I need to vote for this guy. Because they're all really the same. But but, but, Miriam, that's not the government's fault. Like, like, let's just look at the homosexuals. Let's go back to the homosexuals. They have their... Right. (laughs) (laughs) Because they are the the most... They were were the most oppressed group, but they're now the most politically strong group in America. They no, are no, knocking no. down the getting. You know, they are knocking down from state to state, getting they got dang, uh, what do you call that, uh, equal marriage act. They yeah. they are, they're like a steamroller. They've it's never a been fact. oppressed like that. Yes, they have. Get it. Yes, they have. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Or else, see, Jerry this, Hoover wouldn't have had to hide his identity. But let's, let's understand what we're talking about here. Okay. The oppression that they have created upon themselves had to do with not going along with societal norms as it pertains to the procreation of huma- the human species. Okay. Now, when you began to target the reproduction of the race itself by behavior that is counterproductive to that, that can be a national security risk. Get, go on, get in. I got the guy with you. A national how security does that? How does a homosexual... You still like women, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely. So what is the problem? Well, the there? problem is that our children are being targeted that is not true. in school. In the media, most definitely. In school, they don't watch TV. in the media, yeah, I agree. and they, their minds concerning what is a normal relationship has been confused. Okay, but Gideon, you're basing that on your belief. No, okay, for no. example, yes, MTV. MTV. Okay. Kids watch it. The youth watch it, right? Okay, it's widely right. known as a, a television network for right. the youth. Why are there so many shows revolved around homosexual couples? I mean, how well, many how many of the youth are homosexual? They're forcing absolutely. the youth to look okay. and be like, am I confused? I'm confused because the TV says I disagree, I'm confused. Mary, Mary, I disagree. I disagree. They're not forcing anybody. First of they're all. They're not forcing. They're brainwashing. Uh, it's okay, called mind all, control. Mind okay, okay. control yeah. I agree with the whole. Or Modern Family, ABC, Fox are all telling you these gay couples are normal. It happens all the time. And most of the time. Okay, okay. Let, let me ask well, you. See, that, 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 it does happen all the time. It okay. does. Okay, for example, how You're many shows have be... black people as main characters? Why is it almost equal to the amount of gay people as black characters? Are black people, are there more black people in America than there are gay people? Yeah. Okay, yes. let me, let me, so why is it equal that the amount of black main characters why. is like gay Let me tell you characters? why. Who owns the industry? Uh, you know yeah, the Europeans and the, uh, the, and the Israelis. Okay, now, now what, 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 what gender do they prefer is what I'm saying. Is what what I'm saying. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that if you have a group of people that own Hollywood in the yeah. industry, yeah. why are you complaining? Make your own. Well, we did have our own. It was taken. Well, we got our own. We don't, we don't, the black nationalists, we don't mess with NBC and CB and all, everything she was saying. You know, you know where I base all, all, all my shows on? On Mia. Black Panther, Black uh, Nationals. Well, see, this is okay. the point, though. When so you're I don't talking that about dictate, social you know, engineering and mass media control and the manipulation of the populace, mm-hmm. it is the introduction of these deviant lifestyles. And that's why I would never use the term that they are comfortable with, gay. That means happy. You have a sexual deviant or a pervert or a biblical term called sodomite. Right. In these terms, it defines a sexual behavior. Mm-hmm. We're talking about from a legal perspective as well as a social perspective. At the end of the day, when you try to sanitize right. a very it, deviant get it, get it. lifestyle by looking at the sexual activity get it, get it. and- get it. And this is why you and Miriam say voting doesn't work. Apparently it does work. So y'all prove my case. Because apparently they, they have their they, lobbying. Yeah, and they're, they're, got they're lobbying and they're getting out they're, of right, there. So y'all prove my point. This is what Miriam but, said, though. No, I the, understand and, what Miriam said. No, on you, this y'all, show. y'all prove Listen, my point. The vast majority of the people in America do not vote. That's why yeah, it's no, not a they democracy. Do. No, listen, no, that is well, not true. Andrew. The people but, who don't vote are people like you right. who say I mean, don't the vote. The people who are voting. It is a vote, though. No, the people who do believe in that system are making things happen. That's why I use, like you said, that group that I always use as an example. I use Mexicans, too. I use these people that are clearly involved. Right. And and I, want to why, I want you to think. Go ahead, sir. Okay. That's why I told Miriam why I tell people to get out there and vote, because since we gained our freedom, we've been wanting inclusion. In this system. Freedom, when did we gain our freedom? Yeah. You know what you I'm talking about. I, 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 I was physical since we gained uh, physical Physically freedom free. in 1865. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I got uh, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get in. Define freedom. 
Freedom is the ability to traverse the planet at your own will, to be able to define your own identity, to be able to utilize land and resources that your people have geographically and generationally obtained for your own self-development, prosperity, and military protection for the people and the time and the places that you have proven to be your own. Okay, June Mug that just paroled out of jail was he man, he have a whole different take on freedom. So I respect your <laughs> right. definition of freedom, but everybody might not agree that that's their definition well, of freedom. Well I understand. So that. we you can't go to the next day and say you're not free. Let me let me just throw this point in here in reference to sexual deviance and what their ability to use the political process. You and I both, we've had this discussion before, have agreed and their own uh, statistics show that the vast majority of the populace does not vote. And as a result that of them not- That is a lie, Gideon. That, that no, that is true. true. No, but that, even if the that, vast that majority is, doesn't vote, what, is, what does that have to do okay, with Okay, let me, let me explain. I'm glad you asked that question. He's Did talking about getting, get, wait a minute, oh. you're talking about getting things done in the corporate arena. The way they're able to get it done no, is through arena. the 1% that the, uh, what is it called, that set out America, you know, the people that, the 1% is the one that we're fighting against. Right. They can, the bankers, right. the, the people who control the or oligarchy. Yeah, right. Well, right. the oligarchy, that 1%, the Tavis and Dr. Cornell are talking about other ones that the political strategists are using to control the corporations. The corporations are the economic machine of America. That's why they gave the political, that they did two things that were powerful. One, they made the corporation a person get legally. In, get in. Are the homosexuals lobbying to get their laws passed? Yes or no? Yes. Rest my how, case. How are they getting the I passed? rest my case. They Let's get it. Because that and doesn't what threaten they do? the they government. Go? Thank Something you. Something that would truly threaten the government and impose true freedom and true democracy okay. will never happen in the United States. It there is no threaten justice the on government the because okay. half the government is Okay, come okay. Thank you. There you go. What? He said half the political officials are demons. Right, right. Miriam, define freedom. There is no definition of freedom. Define it. Let's just say. Define freedom. Let's say define being able to live in peace. Are black people able to live in peace? The rich not ones, under yeah. this political uh, nah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 the not rich ones this. are the capitalists are okay but those aren't the vast majority right, of the black people in the united states not they're not able to live in peace i believe if you're not able to live in peace then you're not living in freedom so i'm gonna have to bring some that's, black that's, that's uh, true hold on that's now true right hold there. on now i'm gonna have to bring some black republicans on here do and that argue do that. Th that point, you I know mean, what I mean? if you can get them to come from whatever, whatever rock they are. Exactly. exactly. That's going to be well, hard. Whatever, whatever that's gonna be mansion hard. they're on. Right. Okay, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying well, is. Well, Andrew, Andrew Hunt came through. He was the only he's one who had the, uh, truly, he's a libertarian. He's a libertarian. He's, he, but he's not Republican or Democrat because <laughs> they're all the same. Exactly. So, you're saying, you're, so you're saying go out, go out there and vote. Vote no, for who? I'm, I'm who going represents out, the I'm people? I'm going out. What I'm saying is. One of the main things that the community of blacks complain about is inclusion. That's right. Being a part, since we're here, economic. included, right, economic, it's all economic and political, and well, include us in, in since you rights. brought us here, right. In our a, rights. And if, if right. you want to fight for those rights, you have to get involved in it. No matter how you feel about the system, if you want to have things that are going to directly affect you, then get out and make it happen. Don't sit at home and complain but that nothing not is happening. But there's not going to be a difference. Thank so you. So what's the no, point? What's 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 how can you be against the system and yet you participate in it? Exactly. That's duplicity. No, 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 Let's say an actual I mean, right to vote that makes a difference, it, not just a vote. The the, the system is going to have whatever outcome it wants well, to let, have. Let me, let me okay? just say if, this. If the system didn't want Barack Obama to be sitting in that uh, he would White House, he wouldn't be That's a belief. That's a belief system, right? See, this can we the, prove that? Well, well, this is the lie that's been perpetrated. And unfortunately, it's been reiterated on the, the fact of inclusion. Uh -huh. See, 
at the end of the day, when we look at Auburn Avenue, if anybody knows anything about the history mm -hmm. of Auburn Avenue and the history of our people in America, we, when we were segregated, do you, we had the best entertainers, the best uh, athletes. You know what happened? White folks and everybody did what? They came to Auburn Avenue. They came to Simpson Road. They came to the clubs that we established because they knew who we were. And they came and saw James Brown, Muddy Waters. Mm -hmm. they, and then they said, learn how to dance. They, so the Entertain issue. Us. The, exactly. But right, see, the right. issue of inclusion does not mean that because the political process allows some of the sellouts to get on TV well, 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 and, get, yeah. and, and have yeah. a word. Define, that in, define sellout. Sellout is one who uh, puts the purposes, the, the security, the uh, uh, history, and the interest okay. of his own people uh, below getting paid for doing a job, no matter if it's for Satan, the Dracula, the okay. snake, okay, so anybody else, they won't get paid. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. So, but you got to understand that when did you, mm -hmm. or anybody that you know that be mm -hmm. saying sellouts and Uncle Tom, mm -hmm. when did y'all offer these people a better system, is what I'm trying to say, because your system is a theocracy, and I don't want that. Right. Right. we're here, right. and we have to, unfortunately, be a part of this system, then, if you want things to change for us under this system, you have to get involved with it okay. and vote for so, policies. And so, okay, I have a scenario. Let's say on no, when do the voting um, results come out? Is it that night or the next morning? Next it's morning. usually that night yeah. or the next. Okay, yeah, so late let's that say, or the, and or then the on the front morning. cover of the newspaper it says Jason Carter wins, Michelle Nunn wins, whatever. Right. But only five percent of Georgians came out to vote. Right. Wouldn't well, that be that means, so impactful that Georgians aren't voting, that Americans aren't voting? Because they're saying we don't want either one. Neither one of them represents us. True. I, and I know that wouldn't come out. the system doesn't look at it like that. The system the, looks I, at it. The 5% voted for this guy. And so that's what we're we going to do. Right. If we start raising awareness that nobody is voting, then that's someone's going to say, okay, then something needs to, to change. change. Exactly. And, and as long and until we have our youth, like you all, intelligent young men, uh, reiterating this gobbledygook, and I don't mean it to be disrespectful no, of ahead. being included into a system that no, we've I never been. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying no. This is my system. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I, this is my Again, argument. out of respect for my elders. I, that who died. Why I but those are the elders who died prior to the ones who died over here. Let that me, was those who died to say we shouldn't be here. Let me say this as a black nationalist, okay? Miriam, what I'm saying is Islam, we don't agree with Islam. Okay. okay, so we don't want that in our government. No one's Gideon. saying it. Right, 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 right. No, no, but you, when you talk about a theocracy. Now, Islam as a, a, a religion, as a respectable religion, I respect it, but in my government, no. Gideon, yes, I do not want the Hebrew so Israelite what do you religion. Prefer a white supremacist to I that's what he vote for. That's, that's what he vote for. <laughs> 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 I want a black nationalist system. Okay, good a luck transparent, with that. No, no, you a know. transparent government. That is it's still a democracy that allows the Look. people, but it being transparent. Now, let me see this. I like Hugo Chavez's voting system. Jimmy Carter even said they have the best voting system in the world. Why? Because it is transparent, people. It's simple. Okay. Just like now, let me say this. Me and Yanga, we are forming a citizens review board. Mm -hmm. We formed that, okay? okay? We're not waiting on no city council. That's this right, that's we right. formed our own, and mm -hmm. we're going to make it transparent. We're going to show the example to all people on the planet that we have the best system in the world. Well, how do you stop corruption? This is what this whole I conversation is about. Get me, maybe. Say, no, don't stop. <laughs> <that. laughs> a it's council. Stop corruption with an open, transparent council. Well. It's simple. Exactly. It's, it's simple. simple. The problem is, the problem is, is that you have hope. For America. No, 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 no. The way America functions, the reason why America is wealthy is because of capitalism, is because of imperialism. I'm not down with capitalism. Imperialism. Exactly. Other people's Yes. Miriam, Miriam. So if you want a successful society in America, right? Let go of capitalism. Right. I agree. Right. I agree. And then everyone will be dirt poor. Right. Because that's how America prospers. Exactly. America is built on the dead bodies. It's parasitic. So what about what's what about countries like Russia and China? Concept. Hold on. Russia and China, same thing. We have people in Hong Kong. Okay. In Shanghai, yes. who are so incredibly wealthy that they mm -hmm. don't even know what to do with their money. Exactly. And you have people in the middle well, who can't okay. find 
uh, food, to eat. food to eat. Exactly. That is China is capitalism at its finest. Absolutely. Okay, okay let, me, let me say this. We don't got deep in there. Really. I, 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 <laughs> we don't got serious I in here. Got Hello. Deep, we're thin in the gal. We're all let, horrible let me say, imperialist powers. Okay, let, let, let me say this before the world, Miriam. I agree with you with capitalism, okay? okay? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, go for it then. Well, listen, listen, Gideon, listen. God dang it. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon is on the whole today, I'm with you. That's the system we're in. Listen, 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 listen. We have a complex, we have a complex system. I agree with the economical structure. However, I don't agree with the administrative structure of Islam in the government. I do not. Really, okay, and there's a bunch, mean. okay, right. So what I'm saying, Gideon, Miriam, is that I don't agree with white supremacy because they do things and they are not transparent. Thank you. you know, like, now they claim. They're imposing Islam upon you. If no, we no, want to no, no, impose no. Islam, that would be in the Middle East. White supremacy is being enforced upon you. It's That's imposed, different. absolutely. Okay, how's it, how's it imposed on them? Well, through yeah, the laws. First I mean, of all, you got a uh, you got a legal contract. Oh, that's right, tax. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. 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 I mean, first of all, they created a system that keeps us dependent on it. Thank okay, you. Hold on, Mary. You just said that and you tax us. the people for protection. Wait a minute. Now, now he's saying so he don't want you. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let that man speak. No, no. Y'all just woke up something. Hold on, hold on. Miriam just said that in Islam, you tax the people for protection, right? Non-Muslims. Non-Muslims, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a tax, right? Yes. Wait, go ahead. Go ahead, Vince. Come on. I'm just saying, we keep talking about white supremacy in the American system, Look. but we don't have a better system, is my argument. We do. The my black thing, nationalists do. No, Why do we have to have a solution you in order to attack corruption? I don't have to have a solution for these things. I just know that that's wrong and that has to go. Because I know Mary, that killing but how people do you get rid of it? How do you get rid of that system? How well, do you they get, get rid, rid of itself. I'm, I'm not a political scientist. Oh, no, 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 just like Rome, that's just not like all the other empires, it is, is going to eventually fall under it, the that's exact corruption. It, that no, is that belief. is a fact it, that is historically mm. documented. Sir. That's a fact. It's, it's, absolutely, I mean, that's a fact. Rome history. is still standing, Gideon. Rome is still standing. Rome is still standing. Yeah, you're right. So that's a dang lie. Well, we're talking about the emphasis Rome on Rome is still Europe. standing. It is. It is. You're Rome right. is still standing, I mean, Gideon. Standing. So you don't have no proof. America is a part of Rome and and its judicial system. Education, Thank I agree you. with that. Thank but you. it was still rearranged under Alexander once he separated on his four generals. Are they still and established? Yes, Are yes. The culture still is still in place. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Did, did Barack Obama kiss the rope? Uh, oh, absolutely. He, did, he kissed the ring finger. He kissed the ring finger. I'm not going to do that. Uh, no, no, okay. no. I'm just saying out of respect. <laughs> no, Rome is still in power. Rome it is, saying. absolutely. Oh, okay. Who you kiss? No, that's uh, negative. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying. See, but I that's got, part of that system that he's a part of. I no, mean, go ahead with your point about point the taxes like said, and how they okay, keep us ahead, in. Ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Come go on. Ahead. I'm sorry. Don't be shy. Go ahead, go ahead. The system <laughs> keeps us in political and economic oppression for a reason, right? Because they want to maintain the wealth for their family and for generations and for generations and for generations. And in order to do that, there has to be a rich and a poor. Because mm. if there was an equal distribution of wealth, then that would make everybody that much more equal. Exactly. And they don't want that. Exactly. They okay. want inequality. They want oppression. They want to maintain all the wealth and power that they can and keep it in their little tight-knit family or their- exactly. They're oligarchy. Of, right, they're oligarchy. You know what I mean? But my thing is, since it is voting time, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who complain about the system. Instead of sitting in your house complaining on your couch, get out and lobby. Get out and vote. If you want to see some, or, or, or even feel like they're even, even if they're uh, putting the carrot in front of us on a stick and just right. playing with us, at least you're putting forth the action to try to bring about change. Now, what you said, and this is whether key. Whether you believe it's working or not in this system, because I know the voting system. I know it's corrupt. Bush Thank proved you. that to me. So why Thank participate you. in it? But he made Again, a point. What respect. he said first was, get out and lobby. Then he right. said, get out. See, there's a difference right. there. Right. You can I mean, lobby right. without voting. Right. The council is a lobby. Right. But when what? who are we lobbying? We're lobbying the populace, the, the populace, viewers. Right. 
that we are dealing with. But, Gideon, but we don't out. have to but vote got, for the system. But your the care is the vote. You're like, here, come here, politician. Quick, quick, come here, politician. You're lobbying, saying, you know what? We'll give you the vote, but you got to do this. But once. see, then you're giving power away that you really don't. No, no, it's called Because see, the, 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 the politician okay. don't really have power. Let me let me put this issue out there mm -hmm. as far as, as Miriam and, and why mm -hmm. do we vote. Um, we got to wrap that, it up too, y'all. We gonna we gonna. Okay, you know, down, on the south, down on the south side <laughs> in in College Park, mm -hmm. they don't have the Martyr Transit system down That's anymore. Right. That's right. That's right. I was down there Friday, and I'm right. They got signs everywhere: "Vote for Martyr." Go right. vote for Martyr. Good point. If these people don't get out and vote, they're not gonna have the Martyr system. Now, yeah, I mean, and I'm sure the people. And, and, and I'm sure the people Where that, that, the, people that on, don't want, the people that don't want the Martyr system there. They're winning by people not coming Most out to vote. You I know agree what I mean? with that. When I talk about so that's voting, what I'm saying. Stuff I mean that affects voting you. for representatives. But let not me not voting on certain. Let but me, the representatives are the ones that come up that's with the policies that you have to vote for. Let me the representatives come up with the policies that we vote for. Let me just weigh in on that. See, this is the point. This is how you're trying to tell me. This is where they go with the political advertisements. We're going to give you better schools. We're going to give you more. We're going to do this for you. We're going to do that for you. You mean to tell me that it's because of my vote, vote, vote. before the vote, you didn't know we needed that? Right. Before the vote, I, we I didn't know you needed that. that. I, 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 before the, so no. now all of a sudden when you tell me I put in this piece of paper, things are going to change from where they've been for the last 100 years? Now, they they yeah, do. Right. I, I look at Sandy Springs. That's, when, that's, I, when I vote, ignorance. I don't go in expecting anything. That's okay. Right. Again, I vote because my ancestors died for me to have the privilege and the right to but do But see, that's what but black saying. They're saying, they but saying we're not going with an agenda to tell them what we want. That ain't what we've been no, no, telling no, no. them first what they all, want. They don't listen to us. First of all, no, 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 no. What, what the black nationals are doing, we're doing what, the same thing I'm not going to say. Build a case. We're building a case. You can't just go to the world court and say, oh, they're not doing this and that for us. Okay, go through the process. Oh, we got it down on paper. When they build a case against our brothers standing on the street, they don't just go to, they, 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 they Did down. Did the case? Listen, listen. No, he he, he built half of the case. Exactly. Then he's, then he's he did. assassinated. Hey, so we're picking up a medal. So what we're doing is showing. And we're going to go before the world court that this ain't working. So this is corruption show. we're talking the about. The first thing here. they're going to say corruption. when you go to the world court is going, well, did you, did you, we gave the right to the niggas to vote. Yeah. They ain't voting. Man, the, say, the, the America owns the world court. America, America owns the UN. The, America has veto power over the UN. So, Thank you. Yeah, I mean, come yeah. on, baby. What, what, what about Russia? You got to recognize what time it is. See, we're trying to, Wait you've minute, been, you been conned and formed. They, they got some power too. Now you want to vote for your killer. The mass murderer. <laughs> okay, so we're then basically slaver. saying that the American Don't political system is corrupt. Mexico, Mexican yes. <laughs> political system is corrupt. To tie this all back in, exactly into the exactly. Guerrero massacre. Uh, I mean, Nieto, um, the president of Mexico, yeah. is a capitalist pig. He has been right. selling yeah, exactly. his right. country to corporations. Uh, right. Sell out. Sell out. I mean, I mean, it's, they do the same thing in Mexico that they do here. It's, it's political and economic oppression of the poor. Absolutely. The poor Absolutely. And, and they know if they can keep you under their boot long enough, eventually they'll crush you. And, and then they, they tell you you can vote for change when they know from the beginning they're not going to change. Right. And see, the only way they're going to change is Get what Barack it. told Get us. It's the power Get from it. without that's going to change the corruption from Get within. It. And y'all sure in the Bible ain't going to change nothing. How about that? What, po what, what, the what power? The power from without is, is, What's the power from without? Numbers of the people. And there. No, you keep talking about something that don't work, Gideon. We've been, no, praying, to your, we've been praying to your Bible for 5,000 years and Hold nothing up. happened. Another reason yeah, why okay. voting is wrong, for example, those people who voted for Barack Obama mm -hmm. the second time, and there has been more bloodshed in the second term, right? Thank you. The blood is on their hands. Okay, yes. Miriam, let me, I'm, I'm going to tell you some sad truth. Y'all's hands voted for him. I'm going to tell you some sad truth. I didn't vote for him the second time. Hold on, hold on, I'm going to tell you a sad reality, okay? People that voted for Barack Obama knew he was a warmonger and knew yes. he was a tyrant. Of course. And so they'd yes. be like, yeah, go kill them Muslims. Kill them. Exactly. Like and it's black people like my color saying the same thing. Exactly kill them right. Muslims. So yeah. they got what they wanted. Well, it's only when they yeah, start well, killing the us. On their hands, whether or I not agree. They realize it. I, I, well, Wait they, a minute. They, they, That's they, the point. It's, see, we knew, you knew he was a cult. You knew he was a killer. You knew he was going to be bombing. Okay. Now, it's only when he start bombing and killing we, us. We got... When, when you okay. start, we got the right. Yeah, okay, that's it. You voted for the killer. Solution, America. Guerrero Mexico, what is your solution, baby? For America? No, Guerrero. Guerrero, Guerrero. Guerrero. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. I believe that 
one of the solutions, which I know is very difficult for people to come to terms with, is to legalize drugs in the United States. Okay. And yeah. although that is unethical, and you know, to be on drugs, of course, is unethical and it's immoral and all of this, it's more immoral and more unethical for people to be dying in Mexico. Gideon, solution. I have to Earth totally makes. agree with her. Okay. I okay. mean, legalization would uh, definitely switch it off. I would have to say they need a, a complete overhaul of the Mexican government because, from what I understand, they're worse than America's government, and that's saying a lot. Oh. Lot. Okay. <laughs> all right. With that being said, we'll see y'all next week <laughs> on the arena. In the my arena. My solution is uh, transparent government, baby. And, and my thing is. I think that's easier said than done. Well, well let, me say, let me say this to my people, okay? Okay. I'm and that you. includes hearing it to my people. Uh -huh. Don't stop. A, you, you can't stop another man. Don't, don't tell another man how to fight is basically what I'm right. saying. Okay. So let us build our case. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't vote. Mm -hmm. Let us vote. And no let's vote. Oh, the real solution is revolution. Okay. Yeah. Revolution! Right. revolution! Yeah. Rest in peace yeah. to the Guerrero I mean, students. Yes. All. Rest in peace to the Guerrero students. Yes. Of course. And all our Latino hey, family, hey, we, we say to you, que pasa hey, once I'm, again. I'm, I'm going to say this, too. We're going to have a show on revolution. Because yes. we got to have an end game, too. Because right. your revolution might be installed Islam. His mm -hmm. might be installed, you know. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, he say, oh. end games are all right, all right. This yeah. is the revolution. It is being televised. Here we see the arena. Uh -huh. The revolution is being televised. <laughs>